This is a Rubik's Cube. It's standard appearance. I will show you that you can complicate your cube and make it diverse using different positions and appearance of your stickers. For example, you can make a cube where all the stickers are the same and it will be solved and scrambled at the same time. Or you can just meditate with this cube. Um. If you are tired of standard stickers on the cube, then you can use such options. For example, the Minecraft cube, which is made out of textures of this game. By the way, I have never played Minecraft, so if you are experts on this topic, you can write what each texture is called on this cube. Or this option. The colors on this cube shimmer, a kind of gradient, for example. On this cube you can see some kind of lunar eclipse, a very interesting sticker mode. Now let's solve these cubes with a timer. We move on to the second, to the gradient. This is how it looks scrambled. Let's solve it at speed. Very difficult, in fact. Yep, that's it. A minute and ten. It was difficult to navigate, but it seems to me that I coped with it quite well. But what if you replace the stickers with numbers? This is the same one color cube that we have already seen, but here on each side there are numbers. And they must be put in the right order, from 1 to 9. Such a Sudoku cube. In fact, you can do yourself any of the sticker modes that you see here. You just need a bit of patience and imagination. So, we need to orient centers first. I sold one face. But here everything is completely scrambled, so I need to redo everything now. It's hard to navigate, because sometimes there are the same numbers. And we need to pick the right one, so it will be correct on other two sides. So, I sold the second layer, it was quite fast. Now, I have six digits repeated here. I have to do the last one. Ok, that's it, let's check. Ready? Ready? Yep. Yes. Yes. That's it. Whew, almost 10 minutes. It was very difficult. But I like it, moving on. If you are still accustomed to colors, then I offer you such a cube. It is a chaos cube. It is covered with stickers twice on top of the usual faces. That is, we have small stickers, there are others under them, and inside are hidden standard colors. So it needs to be sold three times, and now we're gonna do it. I sold the first color scheme. I started with the little stickers, so now here every edge is sold. If you are looking at the first top stickers. Now we go to the middle ones, those under them. Here's the yellow center, let's start with it. Now the second layer is sold. These stickers that are under small ones also completely sold. Really something chaotic. Now we solve the innermost layer. This cube is also considered salt, because this inner layer, which is under the first two, completely coincides in its colors. This side is yellow, this side is orange, blue, red, green, and white. I sold these three stages in 7 minutes 19 seconds. You can complicate your task even more, and it will be really interesting. 
And what else can be interesting is these images. You can print any stickers and stick them on top of your cube, and it will be both difficult and cool. For example, this is an image of a map of the world, where we can see any part of our planet. It looks so very cool that you can just put it on your shelf and you will have a new copy in the collection. I don't really want to scramble it, because maybe, same as you, I want to admire this beauty. So I give you one last opportunity to do it, and we move on. And what if I tell you that the cube can be not only 6 colored, but 8 colors at once, which further complicates its solving. Now we see 4 colors on each side. Let's see how difficult it is. To solve the cross, I need to find two stickers on one part and simultaneously put them to their centers, which also complicates my task. For example, now I have already solved the first square, which is completely in its place. Solved uh, the first two layers, as you can see. There's one edge. The second... Oh, I had an OLL skip, great! I even didn't turn the centers. It remains only to change the corners. That is, now black should be here, purple here, and the same thing there. So I can just do the usual Rubik's Cube algorithm. And the cube is sold. I coped quickly enough, two minutes. We already had six colors, eight colors, and how do you like this one? There are nine colors on this cube. And the task here is to do so that colors don't repeat on either side. For example, here they repeat. I make one movement, there are new ones. I make another turn, there are two more new colors. I want more, there are three, what's going on? This cube will definitely wreck your brain. But now I will try to cope with it. And it will be very difficult. Write in the comments how long do you think it will take me to cope with this Mole cube. The only thing I understood for sure is uh, that here we have two green corners, and they must be on different axes of a cube for sure. Because if we at least put them on one side next to each other, then they will already be repeated. But what to do next? I don't know. We will try. Really? Sub 10? Wait a second. 9 different colors. 9 different colors. 9 different colors. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah. I did it. Cool, folks. I don't know, it's really amazing. And now take a look at this one. This is a space Rubik's Cube. This cube is made using paint, not stickers, but look how really beautiful it is. It is so cool, I don't even want to touch it. Let it just stand and please you with its appearance. So guys, don't limit yourself in your fantasies, do what you want and look how many cubes we have already collected here. And there can be a lot of them. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, write what sticker modes you did and see you next time. Wow, it's just crazy, look, how did I manage to do sub 10 here? I didn't believe it, to be honest.